Here you have a, a nice flat gray, middle gray. I want to show you, I'm going to take this gray and divide it into, I'm going to try and get enough out of this to divide it. You, you've got the, the middle gray, um, so I want blue, brown, red, green, and I'll do a yellow gray as well. We'll just take a little bit of the other one to do a yellow gray. If I mix a little bit of blue, you see that's not much of the French ultramarine blue into this gray. We'll take out a little bit more. It becomes more blue. I'm going to set it right here. Uh, you know, I'm going to add just a little bit more so that you can see it on the camera, the difference. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Now, if I take the burnt umber and mix into this pile, it actually becomes a, a warm gray. Your blue gray will be a cool gray and if I put them side by side I'm hoping that you can tell the difference between blue and brown cool and warm I can take a little bit of the red now this is alizarin crimson it's pretty potent out of the colors that you get two colors that are the most potent are your alizarin crimson and even stronger than that is your Windsor green Gonna push this just a little bit, trying to work around the paint that's on the palette. All right, let's just take some, make it so. I place that here. Now here is the Windsor Green. That stuff is powerful. And you can see I don't have much on here, and you will probably see quite a difference. We'll try it a little bit more for the camera's sake. Very little bit at a time. And you can see the greenish cast to that. I'm going to take a little bit of this gray here that was a neutral gray. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit because this is a small amount of paint. A little bit more for the camera. Too much. Too much here. Hopefully the camera can see the difference. So there you have a whole wide range of grays besides your neutral gray right here if I put it close and spread it out these will make for a very nice gray area in a painting and give it life rather than just one flat flat gray um, the same goes for your blacks it's difficult to show on the camera but if you have a blue black and a brown black a red black a green black a yellow black will turn green so you don't want to add yellow to your black but if you have uh, a variety of blacks it again adds life and energy to a dark area rather than just painting flat black out of a tube